Okay, today we're going to be working on a new problem with this 2007 Hyundai Entourage. Uh, I started the car this morning after replacing the alternator again uh, and came up with a check engine light. The error code was P0460. Uh, that translates into a fan control module error. All right, so the fan control module is down here, right there, this, this block right here. The problem is something that I was aware of uh, three years ago, or maybe even longer than that, I broke one of the connectors the first time I replaced an alternator in this car, not knowing that I didn't even need to remove this. First time I ever did this job, I tried to remove all this stuff, including this, this fan over here. You don't have to remove the, the driver's side fan, only the passenger side fan on an alternator, but I didn't know that. So I disconnected all the connectors to this block so I could remove the fan. Well, in the process, one of the connectors disintegrated in my hand. It was, it was really bad. Now, if had I not touched it, it would have been fine. But I touched it and broke it, and, I, and uh, when I put everything back together, I just took the bare wire and, and plugged it into the, into the uh, control module without worrying about it. I put some black tape around it to seal it. But uh, it is now, that is now failing. So that connector, if you wanted to replace the connector, it's $90. Yeah, it's insane. Very, very expensive. Um, aftermarket ones are, only, are 75 You know, I don't even know if you can get it from Hyundai anymore. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this control module. I'm going to solder a wire to that, that connection that's bad. Um, and then have an external connector that I solder to the other wire. So let me get started. So I've got the um, fan control module out. It's held in by two coarse plastic screws. Um, don't really need to take this piece off here, this cross member. You can, that would give you some extra room, but I didn't need to do that so far. Um, I'm going to be soldering a connector. Well, I should comment that the connector that's bad is this one, the single terminal guy here. That guy's the one that disintegrated. And from my readings online, some, when, when this happened to me several years ago, it's a common problem. That one connector was made out of crap material or something, or it gets hotter than the other connectors, for some reason disintegrates. So there it is without the housing on it. So I will be putting an inline connector, soldering it directly to that terminal. And I will be back. Now taking a closer look at these, you can see that this has gotten hot. It's been an ohmic connection for a while. It's a little bit darker. I'm going to have to scrape that off to get some uh, good surface to solder to. But um, that's what it should have looked like if we had a good connection. Nice and shiny. <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing a double connection here because this... Um, this terminal looks like it might be kind of a high current uh, connection. So I'm going to use a double connection um, to improve my chances of it not burning up. And uh, so I'm going to be soldering two wires here, two wires to the harness in the car, um, and then connect with a connector between the two. Okay, so here I have the wire soldered <clears throat> on. Uh, I chose to solder one wire on the top side and one to the opposite side. So two different connections on two, two different sides of this uh blade connector that's inside this housing. Um, I'm going to be using this two pin housing, two pin connector, and you'll notice I've got both females on this one. Uh, the both male pins will go on the car harness, and I've got little um, moisture uh, restrictors uh, also installed on the wires. Don't forget to put those on. So um, I'll be sliding the male housing on as soon as I find what I did with it. So let's see, this one is going to be, or this is the female. So this is, this is the female side. Yep, this is the female side, and this is the male side. So I will be sliding this connector onto here, and soldering these pins here onto the uh, harness in the car using this connector. Okay, so here I'm showing that I've got the male pin soldered onto the wire. I've got my little moisture guys installed, so I'll be cramming that into this connector. And these two wires here will be soldered together and then attached to the um, <clears throat> to the harness in the in the car. So um, let me go ahead and keep moving. Just wanted to show how how this is all lining up. Okay, so this is the last uh, step before I actually install the thing. I went ahead and put some black tape around this to seal this up to keep moisture from getting in there. Probably doesn't matter, but what the hell. Um, it might be better to put epoxy or something in there, you know, more permanent than this, but I'm, I think it's fine. Um, <clears throat> and there you can see the connector. And, um, if you didn't visualize what we were doing before, maybe you do now. Maybe you'll see it now. 
this is connector here is replacing that. These wires here are going to be soldered to the thing that plugged into this. I'll probably chop it off and strip it and then solder these directly to it. And let me continue. Here's the connector that I'm going to be uh, preparing to attach these two wires here to. This connector. Right there. So if this is a crimped on connector. Maybe I'll try to uncrimp it. And uh, use those wires that are exposed that look like good copper wire. And uh, let's we'll see how it goes. After studying it, I decided to chop off the connector and I'm going to solder directly to this area, to the, um, the crimper and the, the um, wires. Um, I'm also going to be adding a piece of heat shrink uh, tubing so that I can uh, electrically isolate it. Let me finish this up. Got it soldered onto the, uh, the wire here and I added a piece of heat shrink tubing to isolate it and that's the end result. Now I'm going to put it all together. Um, I've already got the module mounted and you can see what you can see down there the other end of the connector that I'm going to plug into um, and there's a block on top I don't know if you can see it or not see that block moving right there that's got to be put in position as well it doesn't go straight up like that it goes to the left or to the right something like that. well it goes like that and now I need to secure it down and plug it in and I'm done so you can see my connector is connected. This should work. Now the symptoms of this error are you'll get a P0460 error. You'll also hear some strange noises coming from your air conditioner on the inside. That's because the, because the fan isn't turning on to cool down the condenser. So pressure is building up on the inside. Um, you'll also hear the um, AC compressor kicking on and off trying to prevent that high pressure. So uh, this has to be fixed pretty quick or you'll damage your AC. Um, I caught it pretty early, um, and it's easy to catch because you hear that uh, pressure noise. It's, it sounds like a pressure building up on the inside. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're testing it out. Um, the fans are running before they wouldn't run. Um, I forgot to mention, before you do this job, disconnect the battery, uh, the ground to the battery, so that you don't accidentally short. You're going to be working in this area close to this, and you could short out between ground and that with your tool. So make sure you disconnect the battery. But yeah, fans are working, and the compressor's not cycling. I believe she's fixed. Thanks for watching.